I just wanted to go over the different modes that we have. This is the single image mode. This is where you change the modes. Single image mode is very useful for when you're shooting direct connect and you want to see exactly what you just shot and it shows it to you right away. As you can see there's a crop on here. To change that crop you click up here and shut the crop off or make it 5 by 7 Those are the two common ones. And whatever picture you just shot you'll, you'll see exactly as it is. And you can see down here the name of the file and also the size. You can print from here um, also if you need to. Double image mode is very useful for when you have customers that want to see two pictures side by side. You can show them a little better view and you can also click down here show two side by side. And you'll actually see a preview on screen with the image number. So if you have an LCD hooked up this is a very useful feature. Um, drag and drop mode is what you see is what you get. So if you go over here and you go to for a proof sheet, you'll see exactly four up. And you can drag down four different images. So what however it's cropped on here you'll see exactly how it will print. And if you click on an image, you can move them around. You'll see your tools over here that are normally under adjust in chroma key mode. Shift and zoom and zoom an image, color adjust, rotate. You can also just click and drag. You use your plus and minus on your keyboard to zoom. Or you can zoom over here. The next mode is special one up mode. This you'll see is similar to single image mode, but you have you can put graphics on it as well as um, your adjust tools are under adjust adjust button similar to drag and drop mode and you also don't see what you get so you know if you're doing a proof sheet you're just seeing the image that's going to go four times into this proof sheet and the last mode is chroma key mode and you'll see your template you have your template button your adjust button and your graphic button and there's additional preferences on the chroma key mode so make sure you watch those.